right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Okay, well, 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 last week we did the brilliant thing, man. We had uh, uh, a Boo White and his wife on the set. Show some love, show some love. <laughs> and uh, Valentine's Day is coming, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our assembly, I do for some kwan. We have the pre Valentine for this weekend. Next week we have the post Valentine. Show some love, man. <laughs> and for our pre Valentine, man. And I'm going to introduce this very, very charming lady who's hooked up to the man we know so well he is big and when i mention his name you know but in the meantime we're going to meet the the lady who is his other half right now should i say the better half the better half so let us see her so put your hands together and show some love for anika Welcome, Anika. Thank you. Good to have you here. Same here. All right. Okay, now Anika is in the house. We're going to go for a commercial break. When we come back, we shall get busy. The KSM Show. Okay, we're back. We're back. Welcome to the show. You're looking charming and gorgeous. <laughs> wow. Well, well we, we want to get to know more of you a little bit before, before he comes in. But as much as possible, let's, let's, I don't want to let the audience know who it is. Those who know, know. But I want to surprise those who do not know. Right. Oh, welcome. What do you do outside of uh, managing this great guy? I have a communications company okay. that does commercials and write strategies and write proposals for companies. Oh, really? So in some, I'm the butler to your business. Whatever mm. you need, I'm there to provide. Oh, okay. So they, like a company will approach you and they need some exposure? Yes. And you do the, like a company brochure? Yes, like I that? do commercials. I do, I write commercials, actually, mm. the script. And Fantastic. then I also write business proposals for them if they need sponsorship or other things. And then I also write strategies for companies. Hmm. Yes, so I do that. Show some love, man! <laughs> How long have you been doing that? For three and a half years. Three and a half years? Yes. Fantastic, fantastic. And I'm supposing you have some heavyweight clients? Yes, I have been working with um, Coca-Cola, I have been working with MTN, I have been working with MDS Lancet, I have been working with him, and I have been working <laughs> with <laughs> all heavyweights. other artists. All yes. heavyweights, yes. man. Yes. How, did you, how did you get into that? What did you study? Uh, in, 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 what, um, what? My first degree was in law, and then my second degree was in business administration. Okay. So I did MBA. Fantastic. And then I realized that I needed money fast. That's why I branched into MBA, to be able to do things before I could the go law, back the, to law school. The money was not flowing from the law to um, you, as fast as you want? You had to want? specialize okay. before, and I okay. needed cash and i also needed to get the expertise to run his business for him mm. so i decided to go into business administration so that's how i got into it and then i Let went to work okay, okay. Right. um so you you studied business administration yes to help you manage his business yes was that before or after so it wow. was during the courtship that i went and then we got married somewhere along the line oh wow yes, yes, wow yes. So how has it been managing his business? It's been fantastic. Actually, I went to get um, a lot of training from Unilever. I used to work at Unilever mm. as the employer brand specialist. So, and then I used to work with Guinness Ghana as well. So I got a lot of training mm. from these mm -hmm. places. Mm -hmm. They are fantastic places mm. to get training. Mm. And mm. then when I was done, I decided, well, in three, so I decided to go back to apply my knowledge and ex mm -hmm. um, experience for him. Mm. So that was how come I got into the business. Mm. And then I also had kids and I needed to be with the kids. How many kids? Yeah. I have two children. You have two? Yes. Beautiful. So Ages? I um, seven and five. They, okay. they were both 10, eight and six this year. Okay. So, okay. Yes. okay. Show some love, man. <laughs> wow. That's, that's, that, that's, that, that's amazing, man. Keeping the focus on your education, your profession, and the family aspect is, is, is fantastic. 
It's fantastic. You've done well. And you have some very good clients. How, how, how did you end up? Did you send them a proposal or something you did that they saw, so they approached you? How was that? Just so with Coca-Cola, um, I produced his show at National Theatre. And when I did that, um, they came to me and said they saw energy in the show. They wanted the same mm. energy translated into one of their commercials. Mm. So that's how come I landed Coca-Cola. But we had been working with Coca-Cola, not as my client. Mm, but with, yeah. Yes. And then the other companies, I walked to them and said, try me, I can do this. Mm. I am new. And others, I said, this is what I've done. This is my portfolio, so try me. So I keep going to them. I keep seeking business. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's what I do. When I wake up, get my kids to school, I get up and search for business mm. so that I can feed the next day. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're more than feeding the next day, man. You're more than feeding the next day. Wow, wow. What, 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 somebody watching you and thinking, oh, wow, this is an area I'll, I'll be excited in or thinking about having a career, branding. What are some of the things they should look out for? What advice would you give them? I think what you need to do basically is to adhere to the client's needs and mm, wishes. Mm. That's the basic principle. You do what they like. Mm -hmm. You advise, you don't impose, mm -hmm. you just advise. And then you show them what you can do. And then you do it for them with perfection. So discipline is key. Mm. If you mm. say, I'll deliver at three, it must be at three. It must be at three. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they haven't complained so far, so you're obviously doing something right? Uh, have some no, I haven't, so mm -hmm. I'm still in business. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are your hobbies, though? What, 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 when you're not busy managing heavy accounts, how I do you relax? I love to read. Okay. Um, I love to watch cartoons with my kids. There's mm. Kung Fu Panda, there's Mega Mind. They are my favorites. <laughs> and um, I love to talk to my husband. We love to have lengthy discussions mm. it's always about that basically mm. i am an indoor person so oh, really i like to be inside but, mm, but your, hus your, your husband is so outdoor <laughs> a lot and uh how do you guys no i don't want you to answer that question I, i'll let you answer it when it comes in so i want you to give us the honor do us the honor by introducing this great guy that we all know okay <laughs> um He's called OK, that's his initial. Oh, so, okay. OK. OK. And um, he's amazing, a super performer. He's a great musician. He's electrifying. He's disciplined, which is key. Wow. He's Ghana's versatile rapper. He's a charming Kwame. Hey. 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 Oh, show some love, man. <laughs> all right, all right. And this is our, our pre-Valentine edition, man, because Valentine is coming up soon. And I see you guys are in the, in the, in the mood, man. Yeah. All right, all right, it all right. It's purely coincidental. I, I know. I'm right. like, wow. I should have <laughs> worn my red shirt, you know. You have red in there, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have yeah. some red in there. <laughs> What's up, man? Big bro. Okay. In the building. <laughs> Chale, Chale, we are great. With us, with us. But Charlie, uh, you have a great wife, man. My eyes are good. Too too long. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back a little bit. I, I should have asked her, her version before yours, but yeah. How did you guys connect, man? There's this law firm around uh, Amikum run about where Love FM used to be. Okay. You know, it was in the same building. So um, she had completed school trying to do her national service, and I was going to have an interview at Love FM. Mm. So I met this beautiful black girl dressed in all black you know from the <laughs> neck to the mm. feet she was mm. all covered but her hips were bulging out of her <laughs> <laughs> you know so so i got out of the car and then i i saw i saw i don't know what she was doing around around the place but i just went straight when i said you are oozing class wow those are the words. Yes, and then she said, I'm going to bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 folks, listen, man. Those, those the young ones who are now trying to start things, man. Won't you to a oozing class? <laughs> it works. <laughs> what kind of, so, so, I'm going to bro. I'm going to bro. So I'm looking at her, just stunned by her beauty. And I'm standing for her. You know, I've written so many love lines. I couldn't find one. 
So I, I said, okay, let me just tell her the truth. I said, if you behave half as pretty as you look, I want to marry you. Wow. The day, the day you met her? Same minute. Same minute. And if you behave half as pretty amazing as you look, I'll marry you. I'll marry you. And then it, it was almost like that joke moment where she says, Really? Then give me one of your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> she said, yes. I saw that her face had lit up, you know. And did, did you believe him? Did you believe what he was saying? Um, you knew him though, right? Yes, I did, did know a, him. Yeah. I did know him. But then I also threw the challenge that, well, you have to come to me with my house. To, to, you have to come to me, to my father. He's at home. So, the same day? Same, same day, day. yes. So, I did my interview quickly. And I waited for her to be done. And I picked her up, and then she called her dad that Ochami Kwame is dropping me at home. And then the man called like 200 times on the way to, in, to, to make sure I meet these musicians. What is happening? My, my daughter, a musician, what is this? You know, so I, I took her to the house, and at that time I had dreadlocks, small, small dreadlocks. So oh, you had they, locks? Yes, small, small twists. And then the, um, the father, I said, oh, uh, I, I, I met her, and then I, I want her to be my friend. So she said, it can only be possible if I asked you. You know, so same day. So the man said, oh, really? So you want to be my daughter's friend? With that on your head. <laughs> 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 so uh, he said, in the long and short of it, it was, okay, okay, if you want to be her friend, go and cut it off. Really? Yeah, so I went and then continued the story. <laughs> <laughs> he went to comb it out and came back the next day my dad said no 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 i said cut it's not comb it out so eventually in like two weeks he didn't come back again because he didn't want to cut his hair <laughs> and i also liked his hair so eventually he cut it and came back and then the rest they say is history wow. <laughs> ah, wow, wow. <laughs> so, so the same day you wanted to be the father the same day and ask to be her friend, yes. not the wife. No, her friend. And then Say you know, friend. What, what happened? After, after, the, after I cut my the man just fell in love with me. So he would call me, say, come, in, come and take me. So we go in. And then I didn't know that he was so touched by that act. For that, you, for cutting for your hair. a musician to cut off. And then I remember he said, if you go on stage wearing a suit with a clean haircut, you are going to be a dandy. A dandy? A dandy. That was the first time I heard the word, so I remember the movie Crocodile Dandy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. like Dandy was like this debonair, dapper, you know. So that was the time that I started wearing suits, really? started to cutting perform. my hair. Yes, and this was in 2005 or yes, 2004. Yeah, Ooh. you know, so and it, it actually became a trend. And I remember that he used to tell me, if you do that, you'll be different because he had worked in corporate work that. Um, uh, VRA. VRA, VRA as an administrator for such a long time and had gone on, you know, so he had such rich experience. So he started pushing me, you know, so sometimes I'll be at home and he'll call me. I saw this, um, this scholarship project in the newspapers. Would you like to, to take part of it? There's this hmm. thing happening in Kenya. There's this thing happening in London. There's a Bob Marley music scholarship for musicians in London. Would you like to apply? You know, so he worried me so many times with trying to tell, help wow. me to go to school mm -hmm. that I decided to go to school myself. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> yes, yes, I need that. I need that. I need that. <laughs> yeah. You know, so I went to school and then when I got my first degree, he, he would now call me and say, I remember that. We had uh, when we had our second bunch, he called me and said, Hey, Kwam Chami, Mosumu Piska. You know <laughs> Piska. And then it got to a point where he, he would call me and say, We really were masters, so I can't afford the yes how could school be gone. You know, he used to say, Really? Yes, we really were master. I can't afford the yen so could be gone. You know, then now she's saying that she wants to do a PhD then she told the dad, the dad called me and said, Empin. <laughs> yeah, that's just like a pretty fun guy, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's an amazing guy. Wow. Yeah, he's... What's his name? He's called Mr. AJ. J.S.A.J. You say AJ? Yes. Thanks for watching, man. Big up to you, man. <laughs> so he actually pushed me for me to get a, a second degree. Wow. Yeah, he pushed me. He pushed me. And when I got a second, he was so 
happy that he traveled from Kumasi to come and congratulate me. Oh, this is and amazing. Yes, I, I'm, I'm having a ball. I'm having a ball. <laughs> so it's been 12 years now. Two weeks ago was our anniversary. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. Together for 12 years. 12 years. We're married for eight years. Yeah. Give it up, man. Give it up. Give it up. <laughs> So, so we, we, we have the general framework. Yeah. I want the specifics now. At what point did he say, say let, let's move in for the kill? Um, he had always said that from day one. Well, from day one anyway, yes, yeah. Yes, uh, but then I kept saying I needed to get this done, I needed to get that done, I needed to finish school, I needed to mm. do this. So um, eventually, one day we just decided. Let's it, do it. There was no... Um, ring and champagne or one on the knee kind of There's proposal. No, no, it was I can do it. Tonight. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we were not that dramatic, but yeah, then just we just decided, up. yes, yes, yes. Wow. Yes. So for you, Ochami, what, what, what pushed that moment? Well, you know, I, I had been in so many relationships, I, countless, I can't, I, I can't count, forgive me. I had to train to I become know. this good. Okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> so when I met her, I saw the difference. It was just striking, you know, and moral standards were high, really intelligent, and then she would give up everything to follow me. She gave up her law career wow. to follow me. So she... What, she had, put the school on hold? No, she, she, she diverted from learning, continuing the law path to okay. do uh, branding and marketing so she could understand what I do. You know, because at that time I used to work with these young boys who used to manage me and she felt I was so mismanaged and mm. so it was mm. just so generic that mm. she had to crystallize it. But mm. she went to get the knowledge first. You know, so mm. she had given up so many things I, I can't even... It, that it got to a point I felt that, oh, if I did not marry this one, mm. I, I would lose out, I'll be a fool, and mm -hmm. look at us now. You know, so I saw that she made it so easy for me to understand yeah, that yeah. I was doing the right thing. Wow. I remember that when I went to tell my mom that I'm going to marry Annika, she said, she asked me why. I said, because all the girls that I've been with, she's the most intelligent one. Mm. You know, and then my mom mm. cried. Wow. Well, yeah, and so so the, from from the get go, she it has always been an easy option to wake up knowing that I need to sacrifice all the other girls to keep <laughs> keeping. <Yeah. there. laughs> How many were there? <laughs> <laughs> let me tell let me tell you something. Um, you know, I used to live around Tech, and yeah. that's where the university was. Yeah, I used to like the girls so so much that there were girls that I took their numbers. Saw them the next day and tried to get their number. They say, oh, Chami, I've you, you <laughs> my number already. <laughs> no more than that. my number. Exactly. So, <laughs> so yes, I, I, I've been there, done that. But it got to, when I met her, you know, like the, I can't say, say, in she will be she will be more. You know, so when I met her, she changed a whole lot. You owe me. You owe me. What was your... I know we knew him as a musician, and also I'm sure you heard about his history a little bit, that there, has been, there, have, there have been women. <laughs> you know, you were aware of that? I actually... Um, New, not with him in particular, okay, but musicians but from, yes. go around. Mm. And then I also knew, so do lawyers, so do contractors, so do everyone. And so um, it depends on the character of the person. Mm. And um, so I needed to not be stereotypical, but I had to try him as a person. Okay. And when I did, it did work out. <laughs> <laughs> you have any fears? No. You never He's, had any fears? No. When we met, um, I had just completed uni. And then he said, He's, he, he has been around, he understands relationship more. And the thing that makes it work the most is transparency. Mm. And so we have to be very tr transparent with each other. So our first exercise was to exchange phones. And then he took my phone home for two weeks. I took his really? home for two weeks. And then we survived, so. <laughs> <laughs> Did any scary calls come through? Um, a few calls came through. They weren't that scary, but they were calls nonetheless. So <laughs> they did come through. But, but nothing, 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 nobody called. There was nothing that 
no, no, they were blasts from the past. And okay. so he had explained to me that they would happen. Wow. So they, it, it was one of those things. You have been very confident then, you know, exchanging phones. Yes, yes, I, because I have nothing in my cap on, in cupboard. I have nothing to hide. Plus, I really, really believe that the, 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 the core, you know, at the crust of the matter with relationships is just transparency. Because once you are transparent, there's nothing that you can do. Everything else is peripheral. So, I mean, why won't I let this woman that I want to spend the rest of my life with believe so apart from just exchanging the phones what i do i still do is that when i move i, I tell i'm going to point a if i happen not to be at point a at the time where i promised i'll call and say i am at point x my phone might go off but you can call this one in case you need wow. to talk to me you know so it's just a constant exercise of of updating because I know that you know sometimes it gets scary. I'm a really good looking guy. Yes, if I if I, I do say so. <laughs> but I know it gets scary for, for women and yeah. being married to someone in the light, yeah. you know. So yeah. I update her every time, especially lately where I'm um, last yeah, I did like almost 40 performances outside Ghana, you know. So how do you keep a relationship running? Yeah. Constant, constant information. When I can't find her or when she can't find me, my WhatsApp is off. I'll go and write on Facebook. If I get another person's phone, I say, hey, I mean, I'm here openly, you know. So because I think that as a leader of the family, the, the thing that makes it work is just transparency. So I'm, I'm the one fiction. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> well, I hope you young kids out there are listening. You know, as I say, you know, we, we are grandfathers, you know, so we are trying to encourage Enkwalano to do the right thing, man, as you do. And I'm, I'm very impressed, you know, because um, 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 youthful guys in, in, in this age bracket tend to be on the, you know, yes. yeah, you know, you, I don't know how to describe it, but, you know, so deep break a crap, exactly, you know. Exactly. And so you have to find ways that you can, you know, do your cover-ups. But you seem that you, no, no, you no, are your... At all. At all. I wow. mean, if you married to a woman like Annie and you still can like other women, then you are... You, you, Let you, me be how. Yeah. <laughs> Just a lot for that. Man. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll have some more interesting questions to ask the interesting Rubio and Juliet that we have on the set. <laughs> Stick around, we'll be right back. Stay cognizant for a recrudescence of gratuitous conviviality and merriment.